Hello, this is Dr. Gackman here, selling some more of my prize possessions, Nintendo games. Game Boy Advance games. No other Game Boys involved here, just Game Boy Advance. Let's go through them quickly. This is Mario Kart Super Circuit. This is F-Zero Maximum Velocity. This is the first Golden Sun, the first Advance Wars. Shinobi, The Revenge of Shinobi. This is Robotech, The Macross Saga. This is He-Man. I know you can't barely see that. He-Man. Uh, Power of Grayskull. This is Sega Smash Pack. This is Altered Beast. This is Choo Choo Rocket. This is Final Fight 1. This is Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Revival. This is Street Fighter Alpha 3. Namco Museum. Pac-Man Collection. Zone of the Enders Fist, The Fist of Mars. Konami Collector Series Arcade Advanced. Castlevania Circle, the, uh, Castlevania Circle of the Moon. And Konami's YYY Crazy Crazy Racers. So, this was the kart game that mimicked Mario Kart, but it starred Konami characters, including Dracula, the Moa head from uh, Gradius, the uh, character from, uh, is that like Raiden or Ninja? I don't know. I can't keep track of. Uh, but it has Goemon, it has the Power Coon guy from the Power Baseball. He's the guy on the cover. Um, all kinds of characters. Uh, most all of these include instructions except for the ones that are just loose, don't have boxes or anything. Um, and Mario Kart doesn't have instructions. And uh, what else? Pac-Man Collection doesn't have instructions. And also these ones in the cases don't have instructions, unfortunately. I put them in these cases because I had extra DS cases. I just put them in there. I might find DS cases to put these in if you, if you need me to. You can contact me about that if you need to. I totally forgot about it for the sake of this video. I'm running out of battery juice and space on my video uh, on my camcorder, so going through this kind of quickly. All of these are in pretty good condition. I did buy some of them used. Uh, the instructions that I do have are all really good, except for there's a fold right here on this Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Revival. Um, this has a goofy case to it too. It's a Game Boy or it's a DS case, but it has a Game Boy Advance slot. As you can see, just slide that in there. All the games are in pretty good condition, except for the Pac-Man Collection, which also has a bad case or a goofy case and um, no instructions. It has 39408, which was the store that I used to work at at Blockbuster. This was a game that, that rented. But they all play, they're all good, they're all clean. Um, this one has a collection of Pac-Man games on it. Um, I put it in a DS case because the box was pretty tattered. Um, this box is kind of tattered too, but I didn't put it in a case. I just kept the box the way it is. Um, this box was tattered too, so I just made it into a makeshift case. It holds the instruction in the game kind of nicely. The instructions on this are a little bit bent. Not bent, bent, but a little bit um, uh, curved, but that's to make it fit in there. Uh, if you're a Konami fan, you've got Castlevania, you've got the Crazy Racers, you've got the Arcade Classics, which includes uh, Gyrus Scramble, bu uh, Russian Attack, Time Pilot, which is really fun, Frogger, and uh, the Kung Fu. And also Zone of the Enders, great, um, kind of like I don't want to say real-time strategy game. It's it's kind of uh, not real-time strategy, but it's it's turn-based. But you there's more interaction in it than most turn-based strategy type games. It's on a grid. It's kind of like Fire Emblem, but there's like I said, there's more to it than that. Because like when they attack you, you can try to dodge in real time. It's it's pretty crazy. Or when you attack somebody, you gotta kind of home in and zoom in on them. It's really fun. The story is really good with it too. Unfortunately. Konami are bastards about bringing the games to other Nintendo consoles, and I don't think this one sold too well because it wasn't a legitimate 
uh, Zone of the Enders game, but it was still pretty cool. Um, I only talk about it a lot because um, probably a lot of people don't know about it. So everybody knows about Pac-Man Collection. This has a Pac-Mania, Pac-Man arrangement, which was like a rearrangement of Pac-Man, Pac-Man, and Pac-Attack. I think there's other hidden games in this, and in this has Miss Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Pole Position, Galaga, uh, and the Namco Collection. Um, also a collection, Sega Smash Pack. It does have a little tear right there. I don't know if you can notice that, but the games overall, they have some sticker residue on some of the backs of them that were bought used, but most of these were bought new. Um, and the instructions, like I already showed you, there's only a couple of them that don't have instructions. The boxes are all in somewhat okay condition, at least collectible condition. There's Most of them have these kind of tattered, not tattered, but kind of like frayed a little bit. Um, box edges, but it's still it's still worth it. This one looks pretty good. Um, this one I think I bought brand new. It's Altered Beast. If you're a Sega fan, you got Choo Choo Rocket. You got this Sega Smash Pack, which includes Echo the Dolphin, Golden Axe, and a Sonic game. Uh, you got Shinobi. If you're a Capcom fan, you've got Final Fight One, uh, Super Street Fighter Two, Turbo Revival, and uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3, which I thought was amazing because they made the games work even though there's only two face buttons and they made the games work even though you know it has all these characters here. It's like just as full as the console games of their of their day, of their time. So um, those are great games. Also great games. I kind of feel bad about parting with these, but I never bought them brand new anyway, but they're still pretty much in new condition. They were both from TDK. I wish more people would have supported TDK because they made great console versions of Robotech. Uh, after waiting for so long for a legitimate American Robotech Macross game, they finally delivered, and most people didn't buy, unfortunately. There was a special edition. I wish I had gotten a hold of that on GameCube, but I didn't. But I did support them and buy this. Of course, I bought it used because I couldn't find it any other way. Masters of the Universe, I love He-Man, so I got that. The problem was they never brought over the console version over to America that I know of. I, I'm trying to find it somewhere, but I can't. Advance Wars, this was the first one. Uh, no instruction, no box, no case, no nothing, so sorry. But you got Shinobi, you got that. Golden Sun, I bought this game because it looked like the artwork was very much from, I think it's from actually Camelot, but it's the artwork was very cool and the graphics look really good and it's kind of RPG fair, but I didn't have time to beat it or, or play it that much, so kind of gave up on it and that's part of the reason why I'm selling it. It reminded me some of the characters or some of the character arts reminded me of like Metroid and stuff, so I'm a big Metroid fan, so I got that. F Zero, I love the original one, so I got this. They made another one, I think, on Game Boy Advance, or at least it was on DS or something. I, I need to get my facts straight on that, but it was like based off the of Japanimation. I think this kind of led up to that. Mario Kart, no instructions, unfortunately. This one was bought used. It does have the sticker from Blockbuster still on it, but um, still plays, still a good game. Um, uh, all these games, great games. If you're Capcom, Nintendo, uh, Konami, Namco, classic Japanese uh, Sonic, or not Sonic, but um, Sega. If you're the, that kind of a fan, and then you got the rare TDK classics over there. I mean, they're not as great as their console card of counterparts, but they were still good complimentary games for Game Boy Advance. If, if you're a fan of any of that, or just want to fill out your Game Boy Advance collection, this is the way to do it. Please buy these. Happy bidding. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just go ahead and ask on my YouTube or on my um, eBay. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please buy. I need the money. I'm dying here.